We recording? Hello everybody, my name is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I am an actor in movies and stuff. I also started this company called Hit Record, which is a sort of production company that's a little different. We use the internet. There's an online community that anyone can join and we all come together on our site and make things together. Recently on the site, we've been doing this collaboration called The Impossible Dream. It's actually inspired by a movie that I'm in that's coming out soon, it's called The Walk. Coming soon to a theater near you, brought to you by Sony Pictures. It's a movie I'm really proud of and it's a true story actually about this guy named Philippe Petit who hung a high wire between the two towers of the World Trade Center in 1974 and walked on that wire for 45 minutes. And it's inspired this thing we've been doing on Hit Record called The Impossible Dream. So for a while now, people have been contributing their own sort of impossible dream, things that they would love to do, they've always wanted to do, but that seem impossible. And the community on our site has been rallying around those people and encouraging them and helping them to do it in a similar fashion to the way that Philippe Petit's co-conspirators rallied around him and helped him hang this high wire between the two towers of the World Trade Center and walk on it. So we've made three different videos about three of these dreamers and their stories. We're gonna put out our first one today and it's called Becoming a Mom. My impossible dream. This is my dream. Okay. So my impossible dream. My dream. My impossible dream is My name's Scorch, I'm 29 years old, and my dream is to become a mum. So obviously, for a lot of people, becoming a parent is a lifelong dream. But for this young woman named Scorch on the site, her real name is Sally, it's not that simple. When I was 23, my husband and I started trying to conceive. We had no luck. The doctors said that the only way that I'll get pregnant is through in vitro fertilization. But to get there, I'll need to lose some weight. <laughs> it's really difficult to say, but I'm currently weighing 119 kilograms. Eventually, I want to get down to 75. Why is that impossible? That's because I have a condition called polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. And it has many symptoms, but one major symptom is weight gain. So you can understand why this dream would seem sort of impossible at times. She really, really wants to do it because she wants to become a mom. It's really hard to hold motivation and to keep going. So hopefully with you guys, you can give me some support and some encouragement to help me get there. And the response from people on the site was really, really sweet. People loved her video and they started offering her encouragement in in any way they could. Hi, Scorch. Hi, Scorch. My name is Kate. I heard you want to lose some weight. Hey, Scorch. Homunculus here. I saw your impossible dream video on the site, and I wanted to give you some encouragement. So the community and I got together and wrote you a little song called Mama Mantra. I hope you like it. You are doing some incredible things right now, not only for you, but for your future baby. I wanted to start off by saying, you got this girl, you got this. This is my little chart of like rewards that I will get each time I reach a certain goal. Well, on Monday, I weighed myself and I was down to 15 kilos. So that's my first goal met. Yay! And you know what else is really cool about this? All the comments that you guys left, I've actually copy and pasted every comment that I received. When I exercise, I've got this in front of me. And just knowing that you guys believe in me, that helps me believe in me too. So. Really, thank you. Hey, Scorch, it's Kearney. I want to play you some saxophone. Hi, Scorch, it's Bree. The first exercise I wanted to show you are called leg drops. I figured I could show you some exercises that will help prepare you to be a mom. The most important thing you should always have when you're exercising is very good music. Sorry, I'm a 
bit red and sweaty. I've just finished my morning exercise. I've been listening to Mama Mantra by Homunculus. It's stuck in my head, but in a good way because it gets into your brain, you get into the zone and you just push yourself harder. Yeah, slog it out, slog it out. totally loving the fact that you guys have shown me some new, different and fun ways to work my whole body instead of just parts of it. And I'm loving the fact that it isn't easy. You've really kicked my butt, you've pushed me to my limits, and then you've encouraged me to go even further. Guys, 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 did you see? I reached my second goal away. Go Scorch! Go Scorch! So as she was working towards her goal, Scorch would sort of keep the community updated. People were following her progress along the way. And then she posted this video going into a bit more detail about what made her goal particularly difficult. People who have PCOS can't process sugars. So sugar's a big no-no. And saturated fats, things like cheeses, which is sad because I love cheese, and bread and stuff like that. So good foods to have are things like fresh veggies, whole grains, low-fat yogurt, lean meats, and certain fruits, certain nuts. Yeah, if, if you guys could share some recipes, I'd really appreciate it. Preferably easy to, easy to prepare. <laughs> Scorch. Based on your diet, we're gonna find some recipes you love. I'm going to make a vegetable pat spaghetti bolognese for you. A beautiful lunch for you, Scorch. Packed full of protein and it's tasty too. Morning, Scorch. I just finished cooking breakfast, so I will show you what I've got. Kelsey sent in a video. I tried it the other day and it was really, really, really good. First you will need three egg whites and one full yolk. It only took like 10 minutes to make. Next, gather up all the tasty looking veggies. I just used the veggies that were in my kitchen. <laughs> Chop up the veggies and saute them in a pan. I just felt really good and energized, but still full. Now add your three egg whites and one full yolk to the pan and mix it all up until it's done cooking. There we go. Just a little update. I've lost another kilo. You're killing it. Yay! So what struck me about all this is uh, how big a difference it can make to have this kind of support and encouragement from other people. This last month or so has been really tough. It's been a challenge, but it's also been wonderful. And the reason it's been so wonderful is because of you guys. Just the exercise tips and the recipes and the comments, the encouragement, all of that together has helped me to keep on going, helped me to stay motivated. It's knowing that I'm not alone. Back in 2012, I was also diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome. I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian disease, or PCOS. I have been diagnosed with PCOS too. I felt like I had planned my whole life to be a mom, and doctors told me for years that it would never happen. But I learned very soon that our body, woman's body, is able to do miracles because at the end I become pregnant naturally. Then I found out I was pregnant. Sometimes the impossible become possible spontaneously. A year and a half later, I gave birth to my second son, naturally. Believe that your body is amazing and that your mind is powerful. Believe in yourself and in your beloved ones and in all this wonderful community that is giving you support. Thank you for sharing your story because for me, it's kind of a dark place that I don't like to go back to, but it reminds me now when I've got two screaming children running through the house, making things difficult. <laughs> that it's a blessing and that nothing is impossible. Working through my impossible dream has changed me. I don't think I'd be anywhere near where I am now without all of you. Not just physically with losing the weight, but emotionally as well. I was so hesitant to think about the future for fear it would never happen. But now I do think about the future. I'm not afraid to dream about having a child one day because I have hope and I have confidence that I will be a mum. And that's, that's new to me and exciting and kind of awesome and a relief. <laughs>